My name is Dr Helen Dodson and I'm one of the lecturers in anatomy. I'm going to give you an introduction to your degree in anatomy. Anatomy is a subject that you can select in year two and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a brief introduction to what anatomy is. I'm going to tell you about what you'll learn if you choose this in year two. I'm also going to give you some information about the career opportunities that you will have and most importantly, um, I'm going to tell you about the prerequisites. So these are the subjects that you must ensure that you're taking in year one so that you have an opportunity if you're interested to select anatomy in second year. So anatomy is the science of the shape and the structure of organisms and their parts. So when you think of anatomy, you may think about the, the structure of the human body, the muscles, the bones, the nerves, the blood vessels, and how these are all related to one another in order to allow the body to function. But anatomists are also interested in the cells and the, um, the organelles and the subcellular structures which make up the cells and how these cells come together to form what we call the tissues of the body. So the tissues then in turn um, come to form the organs and the organ systems of the body. So for example, if you study anatomy, you'll have the opportunity to learn about organs such as the heart and the cardiovascular system and um, the study of the brain um, neuroanatomy. So as well as being um, able to learn about cells, cell biology, um, the, the gross anatomy of the body. Um, it's also um, a part of anatomy to learn about how we view and how we image um, both the, um, the cellular, the subcellular, and then also deep inside the body. So in order to see the very small cells and subcellular structures, we use um, various types of microscopes, but also to image deep inside the body, um, anatomists need to understand about imaging techniques such as ultrasound, um, MRI and CT scans. Anatomists are also interested in um, development. So you'll have an opportunity to learn about embryology and development. And also think a little bit about the process of aging and degeneration of the body and the differences between the body in its normal form and then in diseased states. So in addition to um, learning uh, about all of these aspects of anatomy, our students will also gain other skills. So sometimes these skills are known as transferable skills, which you will then have the opportunity to transfer into other aspects of um, your further studies or um, ultimately to your career in the future. So, these sorts of skills, for example, are uh, working in teams, which we very often do in anatomy, communicating and present, um, presenting um, things which you have, have learned, have read about or have done some research on. Research skills are a very, very important aspect of the anatomy degree and in final year students will undertake um, a quite significant independent research project um, where they will um, learn and develop their laboratory skills and their research skills. They'll have an opportunity to analyse data which they've either, either generated or um, has been shared with them and they'll interpret this data and then um, be able to communicate that both in the format of um, presentation and a written thesis. So this will develop students ability to become problem solvers and critical thinkers. The, the staff in anatomy have very, very varied research interests and therefore there's a wide range of different projects which are offered to our final year students. We have researchers which are interested in, in neuroimaging, in spinal cord injury and how stem cells can be used in order to try and um, develop therapies. We have researchers who are interested in advanced types of microscopy so that we can appreciate um, 
the internal workings of our bodies and our cells, um, researchers who are interested in cardiovascular disorders and the DNA damage response, and then also um, many are interested in aspects of regenerative medicine and um, how we can develop um, devices and advanced biomaterials in order to um, impact in a very positive way on human health. And obviously having a detailed understanding of anatomy is very, very important in this um, biomedical um, device sector in order to be able to intervene in the context of the human body. If you select anatomy and then continue continued on into final year and graduated um, with a degree specialising in anatomy, then what career opportunities would be open to you? Well, many of our graduates would go on to um, postgraduate study, masters or PhD um, in biomedical research. Also, graduates would go on to the workplace, so biotech industry, um, med tech industry, biopharmaceutical industry, and they would undertake um, biomedical research and development in the context of these um, workplaces. So um, having a strong background in laboratory work is very important. Also due to the fact that students will gain skills in, in the analysis and the, particularly the analysis of quantitative data, this would open up also many opportunities for jobs in that area. Some of our students will opt to go on to um, study uh, postgraduate teaching with a view to becoming secondary teachers. And also students who select the academic route towards PhD and research in the future may become academic lecturers in colleges and universities. So if you're interested in the human body and think that you would like to study anatomy, it's important that you are, have selected the correct modules in year one in order for this pathway to be open to you. So if you are studying undenominated science, GY301, you should ensure that you have selected biology, chemistry, physics and maths in year one. It's important for me to point out to you that there are a limited number of places in anatomy in second year, and this is due to the constraints over the number of people that we can have in our practical classes. Places are allocated based on overall performance in year one. If you're studying biomedical science, GY303, then anatomy is one of the subjects which is an option for you in second year. Just going to give you a brief overview of our programme. In second year, se students begin to study the organisation of cells and tissues and also have an opportunity to be introduced to embryology and development. In third year, students begin their studies of neuroanatomy and also of gross anatomy and human reproductive anatomy. And in year four, we continue on the study of neuroanatomy and specifically the anatomy of the head and neck region. And also um, students are introduced to um, various aspects of microscopy and imaging. And this is the time when students have the opportunity to undertake their independent research project. We use um, a varied range of different teaching and learning scenarios from the traditional lectures to lab practical classes, tutorials and workshops, and importantly, the research project aspect where students can develop both laboratory skills and um, various research and analytical skills in final year. We also use a range of assessment methods from essays and written projects. Students can present their work in the form of poster presentations and oral presentations. And then also students will be tested in their knowledge in various types of written um, and MCQ type of exams. Due to the nature of um, the study of anatomy, students also have to be able to recognise various structures and so practical exams and spot tests would also be part of our assessment methods. Anatomy is located in the Human Biology Building and if you've had an opportunity to come onto campus and been to the Student Centre, um, Arsenal Mock Lane, then Anatomy in the Human Biology Building is located just very close to that. In this building, um, we share it with the disciplines of physiology and pharmacology, and it's a shared space for both teaching and research activities.
If you'd like to find out more information, then you can have a look at the website nuigalway.ie anatomy, or you can drop an email to anatomy at nuigalway.ie. I'd just like to wish you the very best with your studies, and um, please do get in touch if you have any questions.